Hey, what's going on guys? This is Patrick Bryant uh, bringing you another uh, short process video today. Uh, I want to first start by saying uh, thanks to all the recent subs and the likes and views of my videos. I appreciate it. Um, if you are new to the site, uh, excuse me, to the channel, uh, what I like to do is just go over some uh, sort of beginner videos for people who are just getting started in Photoshop uh, or haven't been using it for very long or even thinking about trying to get into it. Um, I like to just go to the basics <clears throat> and go over some things that uh, help me first get started in Photoshop and uh, try to simplify things as much as, much as possible. So uh, this video today is going to go over this uh, creature that I recently painted and uh, painted the majority of him in grayscale and then I used an overlay layer with a uh, layer mask to uh, get all the color in there for this guy. So um, let's go ahead and get started here. So I drew this one right in uh, Photoshop and so there's no sketch from my sketch pad or anything like that. As you can see it's very rough. Um, once I have the sketch to my liking I go ahead and um, add another layer underneath my sketch and uh, just to quick, uh, quickly fill in some, um, some lighting, some volume to the guy just using my airbrush and um, just over some areas where I think there might be some light or whatever add in a few dark areas or whatever and once I get at least that much done what I do is I just uh, go ahead and merge this uh, silhouette this grayscale value silhouette and my sketch I go ahead and merge those together so I just paint on one layer and just start cleaning things up start adding the guys muscles the teeth and all that stuff and to get to this level um, what I do is just quickly I switch back and forth between painting and uh, using my smudge tool so I'll paint a little bit in here and then if I have a line or I have, the, have all of these little rough sketchy marks what I like to do is just uh, I can just quickly smudge that on out use some of it to help define some of the muscle shapes and as you can see that quickly gets rid of all the rough sketchy edges so and just going back and forth like I said between the paintbrush and the smudge tool and I can start defining all of these all the muscles and whatever so I keep working on that and keep working it up until I like it and once I do let's go ahead and just get to the point of this video is to start adding some color to it so I um, I'll make a layer fill it with a uh, sort of a green and brown gradient and change that layer to overlay and let me go ahead and bring that file up and we can just take a look at what I did here so I'll bring my layers over here too so you can see it so right now I've got my this character on a layer so fill that in with the gradient it's changed to overlay and what I'm gonna do here is uh, add a layer mask to that and when using a layer mask you're only gonna be able to paint in black and white uh, black is going to conceal the effect and white will reveal it so what I do is I go ahead and just fill it in with black because I only want this color effect to um, just to affect my character so um, what I have is I'm on my layer here with my mask but I'm gonna control click the thumbnail of my character and that's gonna make a selection around them and now what I can do is fill this layer mask in with white and it's only going to affect my character and that's it pretty quick and what I can do from here is what I do from here is I make a new layer and now I'm gonna start painting in all of my details and cleaning things up a little bit because this obviously isn't the end there's some work to do but that's quickly going to give me some color that I can go ahead and continue and work with. Um, you can go ahead in here and you can adjust the opacity if you want. You can adjust the colors. You can do anything you like, and until you have something you like, just to work with, they'll sort of get you started. So it's a pretty neat effect to um, you know if you're painting in grayscale and you want to add some quick color to it. This is a good way to do it. It's pretty fast, pretty simple, and something that I like to use every now and then um, let's save that so 
Let's go back to my guy here. Had to pause there really quick. Sorry about that. And what I'm going to actually do is show you another little trick that I did too. So um, once I make that overlay layer and I have the mask, I start painting in and just start refining things more. And here uh, I added a texture. I had like a picture of some rocks or something. So I wanted to add some type of texture on the skin. And I did a, uh, a similar effect the same way I used with the overlay layer. So I have um, a picture of these rocks here. And I can turn that into a, add another mask to it. And that's automatically going to have it just affect the character. So let me do that again. The silhouette is still selected. I have this layer here with these rocks. I adjusted the opacity a little bit. And let's go ahead and turn it up so you can see it. And just turn it down a little bit. And I'm going to paint on top of that as well. But now I'll go ahead and make another layer mass and boom now it's only going to be on the character and what I did was go in there and just paint in some black and some white just to kind of conceal it and reveal it same thing and until we had more of a because um, it was a bit too much I thought so I didn't want that much and just to finish things up here just went in continue and I would even paint when you're using something like a texture you want to go in and paint over it as well but just something to quickly add, something fun, something real quick, and so you don't have to go in there and paint it, you know, by hand one by one. So as you can see, you can see the difference here at the end. So that's pretty much it, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, just want to keep this real short. Um, hope you guys uh, thumb it up if you like it. It does help. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys soon, more than likely after the holidays. So to all of you, uh, you know, you have a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah or happy holiday season, whatever you celebrate, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.